Hey, everybody. Hello. The real pastors Mo- are back again. Movie news time. Yes, we got some we news have. today. And as you see so. from our title of, of this video, it isn't necessarily great news. And no. it's kind of sad. We have some a little bit of exciting, intriguing news. Some shocking news. Yes. If you will. <laughs> yes. But, yeah, not great news from today. Just being honest. Yeah, just not a whole yeah. lot. Um, mm-hmm. and, and we are and we are just looking into this. But hopefully maybe we can find a silver lining, I guess. Hopefully. Yeah. So maybe. We'll see. I do have some personal news to call back from yesterday's show or our earlier show from Monday. Um, uh-huh. I went into my our Voodoo account, and it is now completely uh, pin and parental controlled. Yes. So the one Very that got nice. away, the one app that was not controlled – Laney discovered it, and no more accidental purchases on Voodoo. So don't want everyone to think I'm an irresponsible parent, which yes. at least when it comes to that, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah. yes. So. I know, and I'm just more just just really just shocked about it because it's yeah. like, of course, kids will find the one thing, you know. Mm-hmm. They'll find the one thing that you don't have, and they'll do that. So At least she purchased a good movie. <laughs> that's all I that's yeah. one thing that's. I know. Could you imagine she purchased something like Top Gun? Oh my gosh, I'd be so proud of her. <laughs> I'd be so proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. So uh, no, but seriously, what if she did buy something? It was just like oh, it'd have been a nightmare. Terrible. It'd been, yeah. Been really bad. But crisis averted. <laughs> good. Good. So. Yeah. So. So, where do you want to start today with this movie news? We got some stuff. Uh, I think you know what. Let's just start with the uh, what you brought up earlier. Shocking news. Yeah. Let's start. Let's start with that because that actually mm-hmm. has more promise. Because you know we don't want to last the whole time and mm-hmm. not so promising, and then try to end on a promising note. Be like, mm-hmm. what's the point? You know, let's let's mm-hmm. just start with the good stuff. So go ahead, sir. Give them. Well, given the good stuff, the shocking news, good news, well, at least I see it as good news, yes. is that Jamie Foxx will be returning as Electro in mm-hmm. Spider Man 3. He will be taking this character to the MCU. Yes. Now, and then, and that, and that has been official. He has signed the contract to do mm-hmm. so. And mm-hmm. uh, this does raise a lot of questions, though. Oh, yeah. Like, like are we. Are we um, getting a multiple universe, a Spider Verse, if you will? Mm-hmm. Is that is that what we're getting through this, or are they just bringing his character into it, or is this mm-hmm. just more of Sony being weird and yeah. trying to mix <laughs> like Morbius and Venom and their stuff mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. the MCU for more money? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, that's that's very intriguing because I was thinking about that the other day. It was like when I saw it, I was like, okay. Is this going to be a universe thing? Is or is it going to be like J.K. Simmons reprising his role as uh, mm-hmm. J. Jonah Jameson? You know, same actor, just a different in you know, same actor, same, same character, character, different universe. Yeah. I forgot what yeah. I was saying there. You know, mm-hmm. or or is it going to be the exact same? So we'll see. I, I'm I'm intrigued by it. One yeah. thing, you know, um, the Amazing Spider-Man two, like it, don't love it. When I left the theater, I said to myself, the best part about that movie was Jamie Foxx, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's good news. I yeah. Come back. Yeah, I I mm-hmm. do think it's good news. I think it's it does like I said, raise a lot of questions of what they're trying to do. I wonder mm-hmm. if if um maybe some Spider Verse stuff, you know, with mm-hmm. if, if that continues to be the track. Or if one division, because they're obviously jumping from different universes oh, and yeah. weird stuff. Maybe WandaVision and maybe Doctor Strange 2 does mm-hmm. some weird stuff to bring him over somehow. Um, you know, that could be a possibility. Or maybe, like mm-hmm. you said, maybe it's just as simple as, you know, bringing J. Jonah back, but mm-hmm. same actor, same character, but it's just in this universe. Which, again, mm-hmm. they could still do that ahead of time and still chalk it up to the MCU is a different part of this Spideyverse. And they can yeah. still make it all work. It's kind of like what we said with, the, with DC with Flashpoint. Mm-hmm. Like, since they have this existing, they can kind of make anything work the way they want. And so yeah. with, I think with WandaVision, Doctor Strange 2, and if they do somehow tie in Spider-Verse stuff, they have plenty to work with where they can mm-hmm. justify Jamie Foxx mm-hmm. being back as Electro. 
I hope they do that because that would be really cool. Oh yeah, It'd be really cool to see all that. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, he uh, and he's you know I, I saw a little bit not a, he put some stuff out. He's really excited about it. He enjoyed the character. He did say something. I can't remember where I saw it, but he said something to the fact of he won't be blue this time. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> yeah. did say that. He said I won't. Yeah. You know. Um. So there you go. But, Which could just be maybe they'll give him a little bit more traditional costume, like from. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. from the comics, maybe not the stupid like lightning bolt mm-hmm. things, but yeah. you know, but, but maybe yeah. just the typical green and and yellow kind of costume, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and maybe and that'll be fine. You know, and mm-hmm. I think it'll be great because again, Jamie Foxx is such a great actor. Oh yeah, like, having him back as Electro, I just think is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm, that is I'm interested great to see him and Tom Holland on the same screen. You know, mm-hmm. in those roles, yeah. there could be some really good Tim banter. Holland. <laughs> yeah, Tim Holland. So. Tim Holland. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited yeah. to see it, and that is actually mm-hmm. great news. It looks like a, yeah. a good a good step in the uh, right direction for Spider-Man Three. Because I'm not going to lie, mm-hmm. you know, Far From Home, I was like you, I liked it, didn't love mm-hmm. it, and, mm-hmm. and it was just one of those things where it was just like, you know, uh, Mysterio was is one of my yeah. favorite villains outside of Venom, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal, fantastic with it, mm-hmm. did great. Mm-hmm. Um, again, the villain was the best part of that whole movie for me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. and I liked it. It was fine. It just wasn't, you know, the best. Homecoming There's was way better. Do what? Oh, so yeah. Homecoming was way better. Homecoming is great. And yeah. yeah, I felt the exact same way. I don't want to get on a Spider Man tangent, but there's something about Spider Man sequels where they just, I just feel like they just try to do too much. Mm-hmm. Except for, you know, Spider Man 2, the, you know, the, you know, just Spider Man 2. I think that one's yeah. really good. But the amazing Spider Man 2 and Spider Man 3 and Far From Home, like when I left those movies, I liked them, but it was just like so, they, it just felt so over the top. You know, yeah. it felt, you know, and um, that's how I felt with the amazing Spider Man 2. Like it was just yeah. like not quite as bad as Spider Man 3, but it was like they just tried to do way too much in that movie. Well, Spider Man um, 2 didn't learn their lesson from Spider Man 3. That, that no, was it the didn't. problem. They tried no. to stick way too much in Spider Man Two mm-hmm. with Rhino, Sinister Six, yes, that's right. Goblin, it's, like yeah. all that stuff. And it was like, did you not learn from Spider Man Three that yeah. you, you shouldn't do this? It's, <laughs> it's the second movie and what they're trying to do, and it felt like the sixth or seventh at yeah. some point. You know, it's like, oh my yeah. gosh, pace yourselves. Yeah. You I know, know. exactly. But, uh, it definitely should have been a Spider Man versus Electro, and mm-hmm. that's it. That's what it should have mm-hmm. been, and it just should have been left at that. It would have mm-hmm. been way better. Again, liked it. Didn't love it. Mm-hmm. It would have been way better though. So yeah. like, I'm glad the best part of that movie they're bringing back. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. Yep. So. So. Jamie Fox, big fan. Yeah. So on to some sadder news. Is uh, and this this and this actually ends up leading into more sadness. You know, it mm-hmm. seems like this just opened up the floodgates, and it was that 007 No Time to Die um, mm-hmm. gets pushed back once again, um, and it gets pushed back to. Uh, uh, was it April? I believe I forgot. I, mm-hmm. I had it and I, I just so. lost it. But April of yeah. 2021, and yeah. uh, and I just thought this this poster was cool looking. I don't know who did that it. That is a really cool poster. Um, it's a nice vintage look. Yeah. But it this gets yeah. pushed back, and um, and I think this is kind of what we talked about last time, where um, where Tenant hasn't done as great as they thought domestically, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that maybe they decided to push back because um, Tenant has actually done perfectly fine worldwide. I think mm-hmm. it finally hit 300 million uh, worldwide, which, considering pandemic and all that kind of stuff, is great. But you know, locally, locally, yeah. domestically, last That's we heard, it was like 40 million, and they haven't really been reporting numbers since. Mm-hmm. Um, so we really have no idea where it's at. So I think that might have scared the studio here, and they were just like, "Let's just wait this out." Yeah. And uh, so they push it out of November, uh, which also, like we talked about before, Black Widow got indefinitely pushed out of November. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so this, but this got pushed out and, uh, and now because again, they were just like, we're just gonna have to wait this out. And mm-hmm. I would, I will say Gary, like one thought I'm kind of having with this, and I guess it kind of ties into the next point, but I guess we'll get in there. It's just like, I just don't feel like the studios, I don't know. I just don't feel like they're thinking straight, man. I don't yeah. know. You go ahead. I, I got, cause what I got to say <sighs> ties into the next part. And I don't want to jump yeah. ahead, but go ahead and say your thoughts. Just give us a chance. Come on. <laughs> You know, geez, Louise, stop pushing everything back. I mean, Black Widow pushed to spring 21. Mm-hmm. Now this. Wonder Woman pushed to Christmas. Yeah. It's, no idea where Quiet Place 2 is. Is that even a thing anymore? Yeah. Um, 
you know, it, give us a chance to go back to the movies. We just got to phase three here in North Carolina. We're about to get theaters open in mm-hmm. two weeks, I think. Give us yep. a chance to go see these movies. Don't just keep pushing them back. I get it. You got to make money. But, man, don't push everything back, you know? Yeah. Um, we still need something but, to watch because now, like, like, AMC was reporting that, I guess, 85 or 90% of their movie theaters will now be open. You know, mm-hmm. obviously because of places like North Carolina, California, New York, mm-hmm. that theaters aren't open yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we get ours very soon, thank God. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, but yeah, but other than that, like pretty much everywhere else is open. So there's, yeah. you know, there's business to be had. Um, but you know, it just, I guess they just said, no, we're not, we're waiting. And it's just just like, mm-hmm. like you said, like yeah. really, we, like we none of us have enough money or time to watch everything in 2021. No. I don't. So, yeah, <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, this I've was my this was my concern. We we're going to get theaters open, and all the new stuff is going to be pushed back. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Um. So we'll go watch Tenet and Bill and Ted over and over again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I heard uh, New Mutants terrible, but I'm going to go watch it anyways because I want something to yeah. watch, and I mm-hmm. I wanted to see it, and I'll just make my mm-hmm. own judgment. You know, maybe it is yeah. terrible. That's fine, but <laughs> I'm still going to go. I like, I like how I said that. Make your own judgment. Yeah. Yes. As everyone um, should make your own judgment, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but but yeah, yeah. So tying into that, that so that gets pushed back, and that seemed to mm-hmm. make Regal Cinemas say that's the last straw. We are completely out. We are just gonna say the heck with it and bow out from this. And Regal so Cinema decided that it was time, a time to die. Yes, that's exactly what they did. At least for 2020. Yeah, and. And Cineworld, which, you know, part, you know, they, so Regal is stateside, Cineworld is mm-hmm. everywhere else. They mm-hmm. said, you know what, we're just shutting it down starting October, October 8th. So I guess it's Friday uh, or it's Thursday. They're shutting everything mm-hmm. down, which is, which stinks because here in North Carolina, they opened up just this past Friday, Regal Cinemas yeah. did. And now they're yeah. closing down, not even a week. Um, mm-hmm. But they just decided, you know what, we just, we just can't make enough money. Now with Black Widow, with Black Widow gone, and then now no time to die gone. There's just not enough out there for us to, to stay open. And, mm-hmm. and, to, and this to me, Gary, I think is just asinine for lack of a better term. Yeah. Like I just like, okay. Like, so if you're just going to shut down and say there's nothing like, and here's what I don't understand. This is where I, I kind of go back to the studios too, is like Regal Cinemas is saying there's not enough out there coming up in 2020 to justify us to try to run. Like we can't make enough money running on, what is coming out and running on, um, you know, running mm-hmm. on, uh, what is it? Classics. There we go. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. and, um, and so it, we just have to shut it down. So this is what makes me mad on the studios part because it's like, listen, don't, do you guys not understand that you need movie theaters to make money? Yeah. Because yeah. surely like, I, I, like, like we talked about Mulan, right? They mm-hmm. had all those numbers, like Mulan made all this money, da, da, da. then numbers came out. Well, wait a second. Not as many people actually, downloaded yeah, it and bought nice. it like it was all kind mm-hmm. of messed up so mm-hmm. so as far as big budget films like a no time to die black widow and stuff like that you're not going to make your money back on streaming like yeah. you would in theaters so you need the theaters to live so why in the world are you making it hard for theaters to survive that's what makes yeah. no sense to me yeah it's like it, you would think uh one would help the other. They would work together on this thing. And it's just like, it's like the studios are just saying the heck with it. We're pushing it back, pushing it back. And Regal's just like, you know, that's their response. It's just fine. We're just going to shut down. And mm-hmm. uh, I hate it. This was a big, big concern of mine. And um, yeah. Yeah. I know. And it just doesn't yeah. make any sense to me. Cause it's like, listen, you mm-hmm. want, you want theaters. Like you need theaters. You need mm-hmm. No Time to Die to be in theaters. You need Black Widow mm-hmm. to be in theaters. You need Wonder mm-hmm. Woman to be in theaters. Like you need these things in theaters to make your money back. Mm-hmm. Because if not, because here's what I fear. Like if they just, let's just say theaters do die. Eh, you know, that, that mm-hmm. was a hard sentence to say. I'm but let's sure say it's hard to hear. But, <laughs> no. yeah. but let's say that happens. And, and then they still want to make these great movies, obviously, because you know, all these studios, m- movies are their real big money maker. And so you make movies, but now you can't have the same budget to make the same quality of movies that the public has now been accustomed to. Mm-hmm. So then if that's, so if that's the case, then what, like, what kind of quality are we going to be getting? Yeah. Probably not much. Like the quality, like you can see 
Like, you know the difference between a theatrical release and a straight to Netflix mm-hmm. or oh, made yeah. for Netflix or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you can yeah. see the production value. And it's mm-hmm. just like, like, is that really what we want to live in, in a world where everything is just Netflix quality? Mm-mm. And I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. we have certain things like Stranger Things and stuff that are great or Cobra yeah. Kai. But it's yeah. still, like, you can still God. see. Yeah. But you can still see it's it's not quite what you would see. No, it's theater. not. It's not, you know, Hollywood budget movie material movie studio material and uh i was even i was reading something yesterday it's it's funny because you know i'm a walking dead fan and they're they're trying to make three movies and they said that the reason why they're taking so long is big for that reason alone movies are bigger than Mm -hmm. tv you know and that's just you know and if we keep slashing everything you're right that's what we're gonna get and um i don't know i just uh you, you can't make money um i I w- like it doesn't make sense to me because you don't make any money off these movies when you just put them on the shelf for six more months. Yeah, you know why not? Why not go ahead and release them? Let the theaters do their thing, and at least you're, you're like you said, you at least you're making something. You know, holiday seasons around around the corner. People are ready to get out. You know, yes. people are. You're like we have families here at the crossing who we thought we wouldn't see ever again who are messaging us saying we're ready to be out of our homes. We're coming back. Mm-hmm. More and more people are thinking that way. And so they're going to need something to do. They want to get the movie theater. Mm-hmm. Boom. Let, you know, but you're not, it doesn't make sense to me. You know, yeah. if you release it and it doesn't make the money, you think, okay, maybe down the road, re-release it when things are even more back to, no- to normal. I don't understand right. the, the, I don't understand the thought process of we're going to shelve all these movies until the spring. And then the theaters are, well, we're going to close until the spring. You know, right. it's like, you don't make anything then, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't I make see. anything. You have people who are losing out on jobs. You have these mm-hmm. theater owners, like the poor little theater here in Kernersville that had to shut down. Yeah. You know, that bigger, was really sad. I drive by it every day and it's just, it's really sad. Yeah. The signs are down yeah. and everything, but people are losing their livelihood. And yeah, people may mm-hmm. look at guys like us and be like, it's just movies like calm down. Yeah. Okay. It's, so for us, it's movies for you. Yeah, it for might us be it is, yeah. For you, maybe it's a car shop or something. I don't know. Like mm-hmm. it, it's something that you love has to mm-hmm. go down because of this. Like, it hurts. Like, you just drive mm-hmm. through, you know, downtown Kernersville, you see, like, four or five shops that had to close down. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, like, this is something that – there's a lot more at stake to this than just watching movies. And then yeah. I think what you said is a good point is people are ready to get out of their house. And I think mm-hmm. with that is since North Carolina has gone to phase three, now mm-hmm. people are like, okay, well, the government has told us we're moving forward. Things are getting a little better. Okay, I can get out now. And, mm-hmm. and as that continues and hopefully – you know, hopefully going into the Christmas season and stuff. I mean, surely there's got to be some push on we normalcy because can you imagine Black Friday and and still being semi shut down? Like I I just mm-hmm. don't I just don't see it happening. No. I'm I'm just gonna be real. You know, yeah. business side yeah. of things I don't see it happening. I see people just saying everybody can come and it's freaking Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Like so I think uh, to me it's like there is gonna be a point of when people are just gonna say okay I'm gonna make my own decisions on my mm-hmm. own safety. I'm ready to live my life. Stuff just needs to mm-hmm. be back open and. And I think that holiday season time is the time to go back. But you'll see more and more people go back to movies. As you see more and more restrictions mm-hmm. lifted, people are going to be like, okay, I'm ready to go back. And, yeah. um, and, and, and I think this was a huge mistake mm-hmm. on Regal's part. I, think it's a, I mean, mm-hmm. I think I understand it a little bit from Regal's part, but it's also a huge mistake yeah. on the studio to put Regal in that situation. Yeah. I don't get this approach. I was listening to a, a podcast a few weeks ago and Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly all the details, but somebody I was listening to said that apparently all the big tech companies are pushing all of their conferences to the spring and early summer of 2021. So a lot of organizations are looking at them as the, the day where like are following their lead, Mm. you know, because there's big tech. It's like, okay, so a lot of people are pinpointing, okay, spring, early summer 2021, that's when we'll be most back to normal. So maybe that's what the movie studios are thinking too, you know. Yeah. I don't like that approach, you know, because, you know, we, we, we're we still, I mean, it's October. You know, this year's not over yet, you know. Right. Um, release your movies. And I'm not just saying that because I want to see these movies. I do, but I'm also saying it for everything you said, you know, people's livelihoods. We've already seen a local theater shut down. You know, I drive past it every day because my daughter's after school area, you know, programs mm-hmm. right behind it. And they still have Onward Poster, yeah. um, the yeah. Ben Affleck basketball movie, uh-huh. and like movies that came out last spring still in the window. And it's just like, oh, man, you know. Yeah. 
but yeah, I'm nervous yeah, yeah. that we're going to see theaters go the way of movie stores, you know, Ugh. and, and I, that's my biggest fear, mm. you know, because we always talk about those, how, how great it was to go rent movies in yeah. movie stores and blockbuster. And I'm really, I'm afraid that w- one day soon we're going to be talking about movie theaters in the past tense. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's because of the responses like this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it, that just kind of brings me into, you know, this idea where there was a report that came out, I believe mm-hmm. it was on Variety, that said, like, uh, or CNBC, that said uh, AMC is looking at probably has six months left to live. Um, mm-hmm. And so when you, when you were talking about even the, the big tech companies looking at spring or summer 2021, you're talking about AMC dying at that point. Mm-hmm. So, and I think that's why, because there has been reports that, you know, with Regal's announcements of shutting down, AMC and Cinemark have both said, we ain't doing it. Yeah. Where we, we think there's enough, you know, either one of two things. We think there's enough to do business or maybe in AMC's case, mm-hmm. uh, we won't survive waiting that long. We have mm-hmm. to do what we can if we're going to be able to survive right now. Um, yeah. And so, and so there's, they're going to stay open. But and again, this is, this is what's crazy because AMC is the, is the biggest movie theater chain in the world. Mm-hmm. Number two is Regal. Number three is Cinemark. Mm-hmm. And with, th- with that being the case, if, like the thought of AMC going down is – like it's crazy because here's the thing. Here's a quick rundown of AMC, is they they went they went into huge debt because mm-hmm. they wanted to. They were buying up movie theaters, like old movie theaters, um, redoing them, kind of like the one in High Point, um, mm-hmm. you know, like down there that we like to go to. Re, you know, refurbishing them, reclining seats, yeah. all that kind of stuff. They they kicked off their A list program, which you know something like that, which you know I was a part of. You get in debt at first, but over time you gain your money back. And they had the AMC had literally just gotten into the black, like literally just crossed the line, and then Corona hit, yeah. and then so boom, it just pushed them right back under. And so they had this great plan; things were going in the right direction, and then it hits. So it's like they kind of have for them. Maybe there is enough, maybe there isn't, but it's like AMC and maybe Cinemark in kind of the same vein because they've done a lot of remodeling with their theaters. It's like they don't have a choice but to stay open right now. Yeah. And they're just hoping on the things like, like for instance, like I told you, Empire Strike Backs for the anniversary. Yeah. O- yeah. Only AMC is doing that. Yeah. You know, Regal and, and Cinemark weren't doing that. So they're going to mm-hmm. have, they're really relying on these kind of tricks to try mm-hmm. to get people back in theaters and to stay alive. Uh, because if not, that goes down. And if AMC goes down, uh, I was reading a part of this report, if AMC goes down, it doesn't bode well for mm-hmm. Regal and other places. And, and people, and there, there's always ignorant people that are saying, Oh, well, this is good because then find because you know the hippie people that not hippie but like <laughs> uh, trendy people, trendy yeah. people. Who are, well, I prefer smaller theaters, anyways. Blah blah blah. Ugh. And it's just like, first of all, you don't have the theaters, big theaters. You don't have the small theaters. Exactly, you can't have small theaters without big theaters, and that's what they don't understand. And a lot of small theaters, like ours in Cartersville, have shut down already because mm-hmm. of it. Like it, they can't survive. They need movies to show. Yep. And and it's just. You know, so so I'm glad to hear AMC is pushing through. I'm just yeah. hoping this this six months to live, you mm-hmm. know, is just a warning. But hopefully they can stick mm-hmm. through it. And so people like yeah. myself, you best believe on October, I guess 16th, mm-hmm. I, I'm going back to the theater. You know, like I'm going back that weekend. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I respect this response. I hope it's not the case that they have six months to live. Um. But you know what? AMC, if you're going to go down, go down fighting. You yeah, know? Absolutely. And uh, I'll be right there with you. I'm going to try to, uh, you know, as soon as they open around here, I'm going to try to go see as much as possible, you know? Yeah. Um, so. Well, we, we're yeah. going gonna to go watch Empire Strikes Back together. Empire Strikes Back, yes, absolutely. Oh, dang it. Oh, I said absolutely. <laughs> I, I said it too. That's two of You did? Show. Okay. Pardon All right. Me. All right. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I respect that response. And I hope it's not the case. But yeah. we'll see. We'll so see. with all that said, here's what I'm hoping. Do you think more delays will come? And here's, and here's what we have as far as bigger uh, movies coming out mm-hmm. um, is what we have here. So here's our little, here's our little quick graphic that I made. Um, so what we have here, you know, we still have Wonder Woman coming out on Christmas Day. We mm-hmm. have Death of the Nile coming out in December. I can't remember if it's Christmas Day or maybe a little before. You have Free Guy coming out in November. You have Soul coming still mm-hmm. slated for November. So here mm-hmm. are probably the four biggest movies. 
And uh, yeah. because because I, we did forget to mention this, I, the, just, the announcement just came out today, I think. Um, Dune, which was also supposed to come yeah, out. Yeah, that got delayed. That also got delayed. So that yeah. is now also out of the picture. Here's here's the four bigger ones, if you will. Mm-hmm. There are other small, not smaller films, but just not blockbuster e films that are still coming yeah. out. But these are probably mm-hmm. the four bigger blockbusters. And Death of a Nile, if you don't know, if you're watching, it's a follow up to Murder on the or- Orient Express. Okay. Um, apparently, okay. this is also another book. It's a part two, but this is that's okay. what that is. So for someone like me and others are just like, oh, that looks great. Um, mm-hmm. So you, so here are the bigger movies. Do you think, do you think theaters will be like okay, like like in this case we have you have two WB movies and I guess two, you know, Souls obviously Disney Pixar Free Guy mm-hmm. I think was Fox so I guess now Disney yeah. I don't know. So do you think yeah. these theaters are going to stick it out? What do you think? Or these studios? All right, so that first movie you got there, Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. My opinion is I think they're all waiting to see what what that does. Yeah. I think if Wonder Woman gets pushed back, Wonder Woman's. If Wonder yeah. Woman gets pushed back, I think everybody else is going to follow suit because Soul as well. That being a Disney movie, mm-hmm. um, those are the two big money makers right there, especially yeah. Wonder Woman because that you know that first one made a ton of money. Yeah. People love the character. People are so excited for that movie, myself included. Um, if that gets pushed back, get ready because then we ain't watching movies till the spring. <laughs> New yeah. movies that is. Um, yeah. So that's that's what I think. I think that's what uh, all the. St- I think they're gonna just wait and see what that does. Mm-hmm. You know, um, do I think they will? No. Mm-hmm. And I say that as optimistically as possible, right? Because it, with the Christmas Day um, date, mm-hmm. um, p- uh, there's. I don't. You know, a lot of people go to the movies on Christmas Day. Some families, it's their tradition. Yeah. Um, and I, I think. Um, you know, Warner Brothers is really hoping that with everything else getting pushed back, say, hey, go see Wonder Woman. Nothing else to see. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that. See, I'm hoping they don't they don't let the numbers or lack thereof of Tenant scare them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Tenant. Even though I'm greatly appreciative that we got to see it when we did, mm-hmm. um, maybe hindsight they did release it too early. Um, mm-hmm. You know, just kind of looking at the way kind of things panned out. But I think mm-hmm. all four of these movies are far enough away that I think yeah. I think at least at least probably every state will will mm-hmm. have movie theaters open by this point. Yeah. And so with that being the case, and like you said, if people are saying theaters can be open, you can go back, people are just they're ready to get out of the house. They need something mm-hmm. to do with their kids. Like like mm-hmm. I'm like I'm looking at Soul in November. Yeah. Like that is a great new movie I can go take my kids with because I am yeah. ready to just take my do something with my kids because it's mm-hmm. it's, it's been a nightmare keeping them indoors. And, yeah. and it's just <laughs> So yeah. that's the kind of stuff that I'm hoping that they look at and say, hey, this, by this point, it'll be an escape for people, for families. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and everyone talks about escapism is so important. And people mm-hmm. have put on a pedestal like going outside, hiking, biking. Yes, but you know what? Mm-hmm. Not everybody likes to do that. There's still no. a lot of people no. that like to go to movie theaters. Mm-hmm. And I think you know, that needs to – hopefully – I guess I'm optimistic thinking that they'll mm-hmm. look at it, be rational about it, and say we're far enough out. People will be ready to go back to the movies. We're going to keep it where it's at, so there's something to watch. And 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 I'm hoping they don't look at Regal and get scared, thinking yeah. like, oh, well, those theaters won't be open. But you still have the mm-hmm. biggest chain in the world open, yeah. And you have the third biggest chain in the world open. And then when Regal mm-hmm. opens up in January or February, I forget what their date was, mm-hmm. then they, uh, then give them the movies and let them show it, mm-hmm. and hopefully they can yeah. still make the money they want. Yeah, I think I think you're right. They're far enough out that I think they could still hold on to that date, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. yeah, hopefully that is the case. And then, yeah. uh, so so yeah, so we had those delays, and then of course, the last delay to talk about, which really doesn't affect us. It's uh, no. like as far as this year it doesn't affect us this yeah. year. Is the mm-hmm. Batman, and this got delayed. This got pushed back to 2022. Was mm-hmm. it October 2022? I, I, the, I, I hope not. Date. Yeah, I, I didn't see an actual date because I knew they were hoping for October 2021. Right. I'm hoping it's earlier 2022 because it won't be that much further anyway. Um, but I figured with, you know, twice now they've had to shut down production that it was going to get delayed again. I was hoping that it wouldn't. But, right. but yeah, so delayed 2022. Um, I'm thankful we got that trailer that we did for many reasons. But um, yeah. without that trailer, this news would hit me a lot harder 
right. you know. Uh, but seeing the trailer, I was like, okay, yeah. you know, oh, here we go. Gotta do what Mar- you gotta do. March fourth, twenty twenty-two. March fourth. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's not so not a not terrible. Not a, <laughs> yeah, not a huge delay from mm-hmm. the other delay, but still mm-hmm. not what you want to hear. But at the same time, yeah. we did just say you don't want. We don't have time or money to watch everything in twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. So, so. okay, yeah. it is what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Maybe also just, um, you know, Sir Baddingson getting mm-hmm. coronavirus, pushing mm-hmm. production back. You know, maybe yeah. there's just a lot that needs to be done. So that's why they decided it was safer to push it back. Which, you know, what that that one's not as bad as you know, No Time to Die, no. Black no. Widow and stuff, but. Yeah, they're. Pu- I think they're pushing back because they have to. They need more time to finish it, not because they're afraid of it not making money. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. this What's movie's that? gonna make a ton of money, mainly oh, by yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? So, speaking yeah. of Batman, look at one of the students here at the crossing drew me from oh. my office. Yeah. Oh, that's sick! Shout out drew to Grayson that? Riggins, the artist. Yeah, Grayson nice. drew that. So I'm gonna put it on my Batman wall here. So perfect. Yep. All right. So. Well, that is all the movie news we have for yep. you guys today. And uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, mm-hmm. I do apologize for my lack of cool background. Again, I had that knee injury. So yeah. I am in a different place uh, in the house and all that kind of stuff. But well, cool background to come soon. I got a match to Gary. I can't. I can't. Eh. Well, well, if I had the injury you had, I'd, you know, you'd be seeing, you know, Something from my house behind me as well. <laughs> so they had my boring kitchen for three weeks when I had COVID. So, <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> you know, but yeah, that's you true. Know, you're, we're pushing along, just injuries and all. So we appreciate yeah. your dedication, sir. <laughs> yes. So. You're welcome. Yours too. You had the dedication, like you said, during COVID. So thank you guys yeah. so much. Don't forget we'll be to back like. Back Monday Live. We'll back Monday Live. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on the bells. So you don't miss out on mm-hmm. any more movie news, episodes, or mm-hmm. other fun things that we uh, end up coming up with. So yep. I'm telling you, I keep saying that, but I promise fun things will come, but we also need new movies to do new, new fun movies. things. So yeah. we'll, we'll get there. Indeed. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>